Welcome to 11 Inning Stretch. My name is Alex Schneider, as long as my good friend and co-host. Paul Leppi. Uh We are going to do a uh, wrap-up of the Pirates series and then a preview of the two-game set against the Astros. Uh, the Cardinals got a clean sweep of the Pirates. That game just, in it, just finished, actually, sorry. Um, so, sweep of the Pirates. Things are looking really good right now. Uh, the thing I have is good offense, good pitching. Uh, team looks like they're finally coming around. This is the series that they needed to happen, and it finally did. So, hopefully the boys can keep it up. You're exactly right, Alex. And uh, it's the first series against a good team, over 500, solid contending team in the Pirates, and that we've seen good hitting and good pitching from the Cardinals. And that's what we've been waiting all season to see. And, and we finally saw it. And, and the Cardinals, they they bludgeoned the Pirates. They didn't just, you know, eke a series victory by them. They beat them pretty good. Um, so that was nice to see. Um, as we've been saying, the schedule for June starts to heat up, and it's gonna only, only going to get harder. So the Cardinals, we'll see what they can do. Yeah, uh, and that and that this month continues on. Excuse me, with two games against the Astros. Astros are kind of underperforming, out of people may think. Um, but the starting pitchers for the Houston Astros are Doug Fisher and Colin McHugh. Uh, which is good for the Cardinals. They're getting the bottom of that that rotation, so uh, hopefully that helps them out. Exactly, and for the Cardinals, um, the starting pitchers are going to be Jaime Garcia and Adam Wainwright. All right, uh, the injuries that I have, the only one that, that's any name is Carlos Correa actually went down. Um, I didn't really see what the injury was, uh, but they said he's out and should return for the series. He should be there for the first game, uh, so look out for him. But if, uh, if he's okay, then no one else really to report is there for the Astros. And for the Cardinals, um, I guess Matt Carpenter had a small little injury. I think, Alex, was it his thumb, they said, or something like that? Um, I don't know exactly, but he was day-to-day. Um, and with the off day on Monday, you would have to think he'll, he'll, he'll come back and play against the Astros unless something goes haywire. Um, but other than that, the Cardinals are uh, good to go. Yeah, I know Jerko played yesterday. I didn't watch any of the game today. I was kind of busy. Um, the who's hot and who's not for the Astros. Who's hot is Jose Altuve uh, hitting at a good clip, uh, which is good for him. I really enjoy watching Jose Altuve. Still don't think he's the best second baseman. In the uh, league. I disagree, Alex. Um, uh, who's not for him? The Cardinals won't be facing him in this series, but Dallas Keuchel's having a really bad year this year. Um, got some people kind of thinking that his Cy Young year was kind of a fluke. Uh, so maybe he can change that around. Hopefully, like I said, he won't be facing the Cardinals. Yeah, the, with Keiko, it's funny you bring him up. Um, he's been one of those guys that has had the decreased velocity, and he really has not performed anything close to what he did last season. But anyway, um, who's hot for the Cardinals? Uh, Adam Wainwright with both a bat in his hand and a uh, and a baseball in his hand as well. Um, he got that huge hit on, uh, against the Pirates on Friday night, uh, and he's pitching extremely well. I don't have the stats pulled up next to me, um, but his last three or four starts, he's looked like, Vintage Adam Wainwright. Uh, as for who's not hot, um, to be brutally honest with you, I'm having trouble naming somebody. Alex, if you have any ideas, say say so. But I mean, there's other not, than like Randall Grichik, maybe. But there's not one guy that's just doing absolutely terrible for the Cardinals right now. Grichik, um, we've noted him before, um, but other than that, man, I I I can't tell you. Anything about who's not so I'll just, hot? I'll just say real quick, a notable mention for the who's hot is Matt Adams is hitting at a good clip. And actually, Randall Gritchick hit a dinger today. So exactly. hopefully that changed things up for him. Um, serious predictions for this one. I think the Cardinals win the two games. I think they go in, win them. Um, or no, they're actually, are they at Bush Stadium? They are at Bush Stadium, yeah. Oh, okay. I, well, then I think the Cardinals protect home then. I think they win the two games from the Astros and then move on and look forward to the next part of their schedule. Um, but, yeah, I, I clean sweep of the Astros. I'm going to second what you said. You know, the Astros are underperforming this season. The Cardinals should beat them. They're at home. The, you know, the Astros don't have a DH. That also factors in. Um, the pitchers have to bat. Um, I'm going to go Cardinals. You know, they're the hot team right now. It's uh, it's hard not to pick them. Um, that's, that's all I got, Alex, if you have anything. Um, We'll be back this week with the podcast and as uh, as well for the Rangers series uh, next weekend. Uh, but for Alex Schneider, I am Paul Leppi, and this is the 11th inning stretch wrap-up for the Pirates and preview for the Astros.